Now let's come towards the next question that is question number three. A diploid organism is heterozygous for four loci. How many types of gametes can be produced? The question is asking if any diploid organism is heterozygous for four loci, then this particular organism can be capable of producing how many types of gametes? So, if any organism is heterozygous for four loci, that means the organism is heterozygous for four characters. All right. And if we talk about the gametes, then the gametes produced, the gametes produced uh, based on the number of heterozygous characters in an organism is 2 raised to the power n, 2 raised to power n, wherein the n is the number of heterozygous characters in an organism. So in the given condition, the n will be 4 and if we solve the question, then it will be uh, like if we, to, uh, if we talk about 2 key power n, 2, the, uh, 2 raised to power n, then n we have is 4 here in this question, we have 4 as n. So if we want to solve this, then it will be solved like this and the total number of gametes we will find is 16. Alright, so total number of gametes will be 16. So let's write the answer at a diploid This is the formula for obtaining different gametes of different gametes from a organism. So a diploid organism, a diploid organism is heterozygous, is heterozygous for four loci that means that means the organism the organism is heterozygous for four characters for four characters all right now if we talk about the gamete the gametes produced the gametes produced based on the number of number of heterozygous characters is 2 raised to the power n. This is the formula to solve how many types of gametes are present in an organism or how many types of gamete can organism produce. So if we talk about this, then this is the formula to solve this and whereas n is equal to the number of the number of heterozygous characters heterozygous characters so according to this question we have four loci or an organism a diploid organism have four loci so that means an organism a diploid organism have four heterozygous pairs heterozygous characters so we are having n as the number of heterozygous characters so automatically this 2n will have as we know that n is uh, heterozygous characters so according to this question we have n is equal to 4 and if we try to solve this we will get 16 so 16 is the answer 16 gametes are going to be formed by this particular organism which is deployed and have four different loci for heterozygous characters so now this is the complete solution of question number three you can solve the type of gametes produced by an organism by this formula that is 2 raised to the power n